Hello, Twin Flames. I hope you're doing great. This is Victoria, and I'm here with the Daily Energy Check. Today, I decided to do a quick Divine Masculine Check-In. So let's see what's going on with them in the 5D space and 3D. And of course, we'll also get messages from Divine Masculine to Divine Feminine with the special Oracle deck. And I will start with an Oracle deck uh, with messages of guidance for both twins. I will start with the message for Divine Feminines watching, and then I'll switch entirely to Divine Masculines for the rest of the reading. Let's dive right in. I hope you guys are doing great. If you're celebrating Mother's Day or you were celebrating it, Happy Mother's Day. I'm coming to you from Toronto, Canada. Mostly here for another couple of days. And then I'll be off to Montreal. But yeah, it's I've been pretty lucky with the weather and the temperature actually. Um, it's part of the weather, yeah. The temperature and, you know, sunny weather. So I've been meeting family. It's been pretty great. Okay. Divine Feminine, we have two cards for you. Voyage of the Heart. Love flows through you and to you. We had that card just about a week ago, so this is a reminder that this is the energy of that magical power that you have, right? That you, um, by expressing this love, this light, by uh, expressing yourself with your heart, uh, you are drawing more and more love to you and, of course, changing lives around you. Another one is overcoming obstacles. You can overcome anything, especially if you bring love into the picture. If you are acting from your heart space, from your intuitive guidance, you can overcome anything. All right, let's get a message of guidance for the masculine now. In the flow, everything is smooth sailing. This is really nice to hear, especially considering we are just about getting out of the Mercury retrograde, congrats, by the way, right? But we still feel the shadow period of it. But it looks like for the masculine, things have turned around and uh, they continue flowing. All right. Now, I'll be using my new deck, uh, the Tower of Mystical Moments for the 5D space. Let's see what's going on with Divine Masculines in 5D space. We have two pentacles. Celebrating your death to me, so I'm getting to know it, but I'll do my best to interpret the messages. Can you please clarify the two of pentacles? I'm getting the, the message immediately that the stakes are high, and yeah, and look at that. Five of Wands, but in this case, it's like a strategy game, right? The chess, chess game, chess board. The stakes are high, so Divine Mask can realize or they feel, right, we're talking about the energy space, the 5D, they feel that um, their focus, their presence, their connection to spirit is super important right now. Because one more move, like look at this, this girl, right, she's on the roof of a skyscraper. And, you know, considering the size of the girl in the skyscraper, then yeah, one more move, she'll be out. Uh, She'll fall to her death, most likely, right? Here we see the game of strategy. So kind of like trying to work the strategy with other people involved. Um, and you know how unpredictable that can be because no matter how well your strategy is planned out, there's always a human factor. And divine masculines understand that. So imagine that something really important in their life is very much dependent now on them making the right decision and the circumstances working um, favorably, right? Other people collaborating with them. It's pretty nerve wracking energy, I would say. I'm sensing certain <clears throat> toughness. And although we can see here that the most important part is staying in the flow, right? And trust that you are flowing as expected. Um, there's still some heaviness in the 5D space because of those mental exercises that divine masculines are working on let's see what's going on with cbd conscious mind and actions what do we see what do we need to know for divine masculine collective Woo! the 
that's a lot of cards. I will actually shuffle it down because there were about 10 of them that fell out. I went a little reckless. And actually, that's that's how the energy felt, actually. A little kind of like, yeah, let's do it, you know, like the man when they push it through. Um, and we have here King of Cups in reverse and the Emperor. Yeah, so uh, Divine Masculine is trying to leave the emotion behind and focus uh, on what is going to be benefiting action from all sides. You know, like that wise ruler that has the his own interests, but also the interests of the kingdom in mind, like feels that responsibility. So the tricky part is, of course, not to overdo it or, you know, when DMs get into low vibrational energies, this will mean that they're not really considering other people's feelings or like, you know, like bulldozing through their past, the way they see it and not actually like, how do I put it? They will accomplish the goals, most likely that they're putting in front of them, but the cost will be pretty high. And even if that's uh, emotional toll for themselves as well as people around, it's still gonna play its role, you know? It's still gonna be felt, it will have consequences. Most importantly, karmic energetic consequences. So Divine Masculine is watching, please do not disregard your empathetic side. It is part of the emperor energy in high vibration anyway, right? show compassion remember um, to consider other people's position to remain kind and compassionate right and even if you feel like your goal justifies the means think about it again so that you don't burn bridges and we have that fire here where you'll have to invest a lot of your energy afterwards to put it back together. And I'm hearing that for some, it's not gonna be available anymore. It's like you're gonna throw away an important connection in your life. Not the twin connection, that cannot be lost, but although it can be wrecked, <laughs> um, but you may lose someone important in your life and it will not be the same again. So be very careful with your thoughts and your actions. This is the conscious space. Okay, last but not least, let's get some messages from Divine Masculines to Divine Feminines. What's in their heart and mind at the moment? What's going on? Okay, okay. I do check up on you. When we first met, I knew you were the one. Please don't give up on me. And I'm so sorry I hurt you. Please forgive me. Yeah, so this is to Divine Feminist Watching acknowledgement that DMs are going through a rough patch right now. Um, emotionally and for a lot of them in their physical space too. So just give them space, give them time. Remember that they're still around. They're still um, thinking about you, checking up on you. Uh, probably been worrying that everything is fine, that you are taken care of, that you're happy, healthy, you know, all of those things. So, because they could do it, you know, through, this includes social media, common friends, uh, however else they can find out about you. Maybe there will be even messaging you I'm getting for some of them, um, checking up on you quite literally, directly, right? So be patient and if you don't want to give them a lot of details so you're still upset about what hurt you, you don't have to give them a lot of information. You can still mention that you're okay, you're fine, everything's fine. 
but it will be important for them to hear that answer to get some sort of a feedback uh, because that's actually one of the things that's holding them right now that's given them certain hope and certain um, inner strength to keep moving forward through their obstacles okay i hope this has been good for you guys thank you so much for joining me today i'll be back with more of these very very soon